a few weeks ago, I went through a few boxes, looked for a few things, and I managed to find an old book which I wrote when I was like 12 or 13. I showed you some of it in the vlog a few weeks ago, but I thought, you know what, today I'm going to make a video where I read you guys the entire book or what I've tried to make so far of this book, which is a very weird book. It's about a family that, I don't know, it's a very weird book. So when I was like 12 or 13, I used to have a phase where I used to like write books all the time about families and I don't know what kind of stuff because I used to read a lot of Tracy B books, a lot of like sort of like Jacqueline Wilson books, and all that kind of stuff. So I used to always want to make my own books and have it like best selling and like top of the charts. And so as a result of that, I actually wrote a book of my own, which I was going to actually write the whole thing and then try and sell it and publish it and it'd be like really good, obviously. Yeah, but it kind of failed though, and what's left is a well, what was the idea for the book, so. I thought today I'd read the entire book to you today. Well, not the entire book, but what I've wrote so far. When I wrote when I was like 12 or 13, it's gonna be very weird and very sort of like weird to look back, but I'm sure it'll be very entertaining at least. Now, I wrote this book when I was like 12 or 13, so some parts of it are quite weird because they are quite a weird sort of like, I won't say a weird mind, but an unhinged kind of mind when I was like 12 or 13, so most of the stuff, what's featured in this book, I won't write now because it's like really weird but if you're excited for the video don't get the like and the video subscribe to our do all the things and let's get into it shall we so let's get opening this book and reading it you know okay so this is the plastic wallet which contains information about the book so I managed to find it and like fish it out but I had to like organise it and like organise into like things because like descriptions here there's like characters and stuff so but I thought I'd read the characters to first and then describe the characters because it's about a family of like two children and the mother and father. So right now I've only got descriptions of the characters. So I never actually saw like made the book. I think I remember making some of the book but I couldn't find like the actual like book which tried to make but I have got books like the characters here so I thought I'd read them out right now. First up we've got this mother so so the family name's called the Bemacy family. So Bemacy. I don't know how I've, I came up with that name but you know. And in this family there's a mother and there's a father and there's three daughters. No, there's two daughters and a son. So I thought I'd read the mother out first. So her name is called Amanda Bennessy, as it says right here. And her age is 24. And the role in the book is, you never guess it, mother. And in the description it says, Amanda is a mother to three children named Sky. Pebbles and Jake. Amanda is best known in the book to always be constantly dressing up her daughter to very high standards everywhere to go out to. So this inspiration, I remember, I remember watching a documentary once where it's about like teen beauty pageants and it's like family in Manchester like going out to America to celebrate her daughter's like teen beauty pageant and they're trying to dress her up and obviously have her be a beauty pageant. So I remember this book being inspired by that documentary which I watched. So that's why you know, it's very so similar. Amanda Amanda is known to dress up Sky in a bikini everywhere. Uh -huh. Even in winter. <laughs> Why would you dress your daughter up in a bikini in winter? Amanda is also known to be more laid back with the way Jake looks, but still likes him to look presentable. So I love how like Amanda, the mother, like the daughters like being like really sort of tight clothing and wear bikinis even in winter. So he like freeze to death, but he still look good. Yet yeah, she just like wants Jake to just like look presentable and just like not sort of she's just like not bothered with how Jake looks. Within the book there was moments where Amanda was criticised by public and even brought attention to social services. Well I mean if you like to dress up your daughters in bikinis and have them like freeze to death then yeah I guess social services would kind of get involved. Which resulted to social services trying to find the family whilst the family was walking down the motorway. I think I remember this concept of the book now, so the concept is the family has the two daughters and a son and they were trying to have a trip out to this like haunted house down in Wales somewhere and they had to like, go a long way because he came from like Birmingham and so they had to drive all the way up to Wales. I think that's how the concept of the story was, is that's how I remember anyway. But along the way there's a few hitches and a few domestics. The family was also running and being chased by social services at one point in the book. So social services tried to chase the family down the motorway. As if that would happen, but anyway. Amanda and her husband, Brian, tend to have raging arguments within the story, particularly in the car on the way to the haunted fairgrounds, where it resulted in Amanda and Brian both swearing at each other, shouting degrading comments. Oh my god. How very 
uncouple like shouting degrading comments you know the children are found to also like joining in for their parents arguments most incidents they are sticking up for the father okay so they must have like really not like the mother if like they're always sticking up for the father so i guess the father must like speak sense and the mother's just a bit sort of unhinged so when the children also get in trouble with amanda the father also 80% of the time sticks up for the child. Amanda also encourages the children, particularly Sky and Pebbles, to join in with inappropriate adult humour and actions. Okay, I can't really sort of like describe the next part because it's not very like PG. I'm gonna say dancing to songs of such. Amanda is also known to leave Jake out in most things. Oh, poor Jake. I feel sad for Jake actually. I presume Amanda just like likes to abandon Jake and just hates Jake and just wants to focus her attention on the two daughters. Okay, speaking of Jake, we're moving swiftly on to Jake's description now. So, his age, 15. Roll in the book. So, Jake is a quiet boy in the book, but is also known to pipe up occasionally. Jake is never mentioned in the book that often, as Amanda is more obsessed with the way Sky and Pebbles look, well we know that, and they're modelling, although Amanda does still want Jake to be well presented and to model for stores. Oh, lovely. Jake is also known to be a daddy's boy in the story, particularly due to the fact that the mother, Amanda, never really pays that much attention to him. Amanda is not as fuss in what Jake looks like, but still likes him to look presentable and he isn't mentioned that muck muck well I can't speak today Amanda also doesn't make Jake do as many inappropriate actions as Sky and Pebbles so that's Jake that's the description of Jake and now we're moving on to Brian Bemacy who is the father his age 25 so how can like he be 25 but yet Jake is 15 and Jake's the youngest I really don't understand the math is just not mathing. This family works at all because there's no sort of mention of their jobs, so they just like sit at home all day. Brian is known in the book to be really defensive. He will argue back to anything Amanda says to him. He usually likes to stick up for the children. We love Brian. We need Brian as a father. Like, if there was like a million Brian's out there, then the world would be a better place. We love Brian. Like, Brian is already, looks to me, like an amazing father who wants the best for his children. So, we need a million Brian's in this world. Brian is also known to criticise Amanda on the way she likes to dress his and her children. We love Grandma. Claiming that Amanda dresses the kids like and that they are going to look older than you already are. Brian is also known to be quite aggressive, especially on the road with continuous road rage and aggression. Every time Amanda comments on his driving or he takes a wrong t turning. So, Brian gets aggressive on the road with continuous road rage and aggression every time Amanda comments. That does not make sense. The math really isn't mathing. Okay, so I presume Brian's one of those who has like really bad road rage and wants to like shout at any bad driver on the motorway. In certain incidents in the book, Brian also tells the children that living with Mother Amanda is like hell. And Brian also likes to comment about Mother Amanda to the children quite a lot, in which the comments are always degrading and negative. Amanda and Brian really need to just like fell through a divorce at this point because you don't sound like a very stable couple. There have been moments in the book, however, when Brian and Amanda seem quite loving. Oh, we get a loving couple. Particularly one point in the book where they started to blast out party slash dance music in the car and having a karaoke together. Alright, so that's it for this video. So that was a very weird book. Very unhinged, very weird, and is just the most weirdest thing ever. But I read that book when I was like 12 or 13, so... <laughs> That burp was like very unexpected. I hope I keep that in the video. That would be the most funniest thing ever. It was a very controversial book, I will say. So you probably wouldn't have sold anything because of how controversial it is. You probably wouldn't have been able to make it to many libraries or bookshelves. And so, yeah, actually guys, another video. Hope you guys liked watching this video. I hope you did. Anyways, um, bye.